Hi Gemini, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-July general reading. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Gemini, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Gemini, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person that you're dealing with in love, in romance, or in relationships with right now. Gemini, your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. I'm laughing because I'm trying so hard not to say it. Gemini! I can't not say it. I don't know why. Gemini! I just can't. I, I We have to sing it every time, I guess. <laughs> um, also, Gemini, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to see at the end who wins that pick a card reading, okay? Feeling really hilariously funny today. I mean, like, are we comedians today or what? I hope y'all are laughing and have a great time because y'all's energy feels amazing. Um, they're saying three more. We're gonna do a Celtic cross today. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Gemini? This is for mid-July. And y'all know the drill. Y'all know the drill. Not every single message or every single thing I say is gonna apply. So please just take what resonates and leave the rest. Oh, Gemini, you are super in your power right now. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This is your theme here, King of Swords. Um, even all the fem females watching, this is you and your masculine energy. Um, the only difference between the masculine and feminines here is you know, the, the feminine can be more of an internal thing and the masculines is more of an external thing. But I feel like externally you're telling everyone what's up. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. Like you're not afraid to speak your voice. You're not afraid to state your plan of action. Um, I'm hearing that kind of thing. You're very well thought out in whatever your situation is right now. You see things very clearly also. Um, I really feel like, I don't know why before we even get to the reading, like whatever this is about, you've really thought about it. You've really weighed your options in a situation. And again, you just see things very clearly here. Okay, what is the current situation for Gemini? Seven of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for some of you. We're also in Cancer season. What's crossing this for Gemini? Knight of Pentacles. So for some of you already, it's like, you might have like a, it's like, where do I want to, where do I want to lay my roots down is what I'm kind of picking up kind of a vibe here. Okay. Cause it's like a very slow energy. And then the seven of cups is like, I have all these options. Like, what do I want to do with this knight of pentacles? What do I want to do with this pentacle is already what I'm picking up on here. So for some of you, you're looking at options on um, some, some type of long and stable something here. What is Gemini's focus? What is the true focus here? Eight of Pentacles, okay. Your focus is to focus, that's the focus card. That is like to focus on myself, to focus on my career, to focus on my energy, to focus. It's like you have a lot of things to work on and it's just one thing at a time. It's like a big list, not a huge list, but just a big list. It's like I'm gonna master these things one at a time. What's been in the recent past for, um, Gemini, Queen of Wands, okay, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, Two of Pentacles, weighing your options, do I want to take action, do I not, okay, what's crowning Gemini right now, oh, love, love, sweet love, Six of Cups is uh, soulmate love, it could be parent-child, um, could be romantic. It's the, it's the sweetest love. You're, what's on your mind right now, especially with cancer energy is like you, a lot of you could be having very nostalgic kind of reminiscent, um, thoughts and memories kind of flowing through right now. Um, thoughts of like, your happy childhood or, or thoughts of a very, um, beautiful connection. Um, it's like the happy times, basically you're, you're really, really, your mind is in a great place and really, really in the happy times, especially in regards to a connection. Okay. Um, let's see what is around the corner. What's in the near future for Gemini? Yes. You got the sun card right around the corner. So, um, happiest card in the deck, um, abundance. That's a yes card. That's victory. Um, just super, super, super happy here. Ooh, King of Swords. Cause it's, 
It's about that plan. It's about what you see clearly now. What's your power to move on from where you've been? Okay, so this is about moving forward. What's hidden from Gemini? Ooh, Empress could be a divine feminine or divine masculine for some of you. Wow, yeah, definitely feels more relationshipy. Um, what is, what are your hopes and fears? Ooh, King of Pentacles. Okay, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, specifically a hope or a fear for some of you. Okay, ooh, Hierophant. Yeah, this is like really wanting to commit, high level commitment to this person. Um, I'm also seeing regardless of the signs, it's like you hope that this has all been worth it. All of this effort, all of this time. Okay, that you hope that this path has led you into, because we're seeing a knight go to a king as well. So there is some development with someone in your situation. Someone's gone from one level with you to a new level with you, okay? And then the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like you're figuring out, trying to think, okay, how do I make it all work out, okay? What's the outcome here? Let's talk about it, and then we're going to clarify and go deeper and get some more details. What's the outcome for Gemini? Wow, Six of Wands with the Ace of Swords. That is a victory, a win, a yes. I don't want to keep hearing yes. Some of you are like, need the yes or no. Bottom of the deck, you have the Hangman. So you have kind of been looking at things in a different light, seeing things from a different perspective, okay? Um, from whatever this opportunity is. We have the Page of Swords under you with Temperance and the Knight of Wands. I do feel like you get the message that you have been waiting to receive. You receive a message that you've been waiting to receive, been waiting to receive. Am I saying that right? You get the message you've been waiting on. <sighs> why, did, why was it so hard for me to say that? Mercury is not in retrograde anymore. <laughs> okay, so we still, let's go back to the beginning. You have the seven of cups here. It's like, look at this. It's like you're at the top of a hill. It's like you're at the hill at the six of wands. Like you're at this victory place in your life where you're like being risen up. Like you have some type of opportunity for a lot of you. And you're like, what am I going to do with this now? What am I going to do with all this? Okay. What am I going to do with this person? What am I going to do with this investment? What am I going to do with this? Because for some of you, Eight of Cups, it's like I'm on the move now. So some of you could be looking at, do I want to move to that part of the city? Do I want to move states? Do I want to move countries? Do I want to move? It could be a physical move for a group of you as well. Crossing you is the Knight of Pentacles. This is slow and steady wins the race. Okay. That's either helping you or hindering you. Um, I do feel like this is a very uh, a steady um, connection some of y'all are in or very a, a stable the path is very stable. The path is not going anywhere. The Knight of Pentacles, like you can't knock him off of his horse because he doesn't rush into anything. He moves very slowly, but because if he moves forward, he ain't going back, okay? So there's an energy there of that, of like everything I've been working for, all this movement and everything I've been putting into it, where are we at now? Focusing, focusing, focusing in the recent past. Lots of bold decisions were made. Um, bold actions. Your mind is in a beautiful place. It's like you're starting everything with love. Every every conversation, every connection, every everything, you're, you're starting with love. Ooh, who are y'all? I love y'all. That is beautiful. And that's why I'll have this sun card. It's like your light is being spread across everyone that you're around. You're like influencing everyone to kind of be in this beautiful lovey-dovey kind of energy here. Okay. Um, again, your position or power here is Eight of Cups. And Eight of Cups is where you have 80% of 100, okay? It's not been 100 wherever it is that you've been, where you're at. It's like it's been close. It's been about 80%, but you have acknowledged that it's not 100%, okay? So we don't want to live our lives in 80% happiness. We want to go for the gold. You've got the sun card here. You want to go for the gold. You want that 100%. 110%, 120%, okay? Oh my God. Um, one of my brothers says 120. Okay, anyways, um, like putting in your all, like not just 100, like put 120% into it. Anyways, um, I do feel like for some of you, Gemini, like you're, you're like, all right, 
it's been all right here, but I really need to go for that 10 of cups here, which you do find it. What's hidden from you is the Empress, is a divine feminine. Um, for a small group of you, specifically for the women watching, what's hidden from you could be a pregnancy. When we get that kind of energy, we're obviously going to clarify and go deeper there if there's any pages um, that come out there. But we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Um, your hopes and fears are the king of pentacles to get the gold here, to get the big deal, the big score, the big thing is to get it, right? But I feel like there's, there's a little bit of a fear there of will I get it? Okay, and I feel like there's not even a question in my mind about it because we have the Ace of Swords with the Six of Wands. Those are both yeses on their own together is like a 200% yes. Um, it's a win. It's a victory. People are proud of you. They see you. You're accomplished. It's like we had to go, Gemini. We see that you've really pierced through here. Big breakthrough energy for a lot of you, too, with that Ace of Swords. Like, really. Um, and also with the Ace of Swords, it's like at the outcome here, you realize a part of this victory is because um, the Ace of Swords of all the Aces is, I just saw 1111 for a small group of you that could be twin flamey. Um, it could be what this is about realizing that um but for some of you um with the ace of swords the new start here is beautiful it's a start of truth of all knowing very bit much an awakening energy here but for the ace of swords a little something here needs to be sacrificed and that's what we're going to figure out here on the eight of cups so a little bit of something's got to go so that i can find the rest of this big piece of pie that i'm trying to bake for myself i don't know why coming through as that as um baking today um but you know i just do whatever spirit says i just say what they give me here Woo! okay let's look gemini why do you have let's go to the beginning let's clarify why do you have the seven of cups as your starting energy spirit why does gemini have the seven of cups <laughs> you lover's card um some of you could have options in love for sure have a new, uh, also lover's card specifically is choice energy, choices in love, choosing. Okay, what can I do? Big, big choice decision here. There it is. There's your eight of cups. Okay, ace of wands, eight of cups, two of cups in reverse. Ace of wands, eight of cups, two of cups in reverse. Okay, um, so I do feel like there's a whole new beginning um, for you and somebody. I feel like this two of cups is, is, is very oddly in reverse for some reason. Normally four don't come out, just three. Why did this two of cups come out like that? Yeah, I knew it was the ace of cups. I'm going to put it back. I feel like it was the ace of cups. So you're, you're really optimistic. Even if you're not sure who it is, you know what kind of love that you deserve. King of Pentacles. I know you're an air sign, but it's like when we get in King or Queen of Pentacles, it's like, no, I deserve this. I... I'm, I'm owed this. You know what I mean? Um, because you have to know that you deserve it. There's a new person here for some Ace of Wands. I feel like you're also very inspired right now. Something's very much inspiring you to, you have two Eight of Cups to move on. And eight, the number eight is a new beginning, is a new cycle starting for you. Okay, so yeah, I definitely feel a lot of exciting energy, um, like there's a connection to come. I don't see that two of cups as two people splitting. I see that as, because that's why I clarified and the ace of cups did come out. So this is a new connection to come, um, or maybe an old connection coming back together, however you want to see that, or however that makes sense to you. Okay, we have the knight of pentacles as your crossing energy. Why is that crossing you, Gemini? Why is the knight of pentacles? Queen of swords? There's been a huge three of wands in reverse, huge delay um, in this situation. Seven of Pentacles is you've been waiting for a, maybe even a couple years for some of you um, for this to pan out is what I'm hearing. Why is the Knight of Pentacles crossing? Ah, there's your Ace of Swords. The moon in reverse is the Ace of Swords. So there's no secret anymore. There's no one's holding anything back. There's no, again, no secrets, no illusion, no worries, really. Um, I do feel like with this Queen of Swords, like you're able to see the path and state your path, okay? There. I just should have looked at the bottom of the deck. The Ace of Swords is right there. 
you and someone else get it. Why something has taken so long to come together is because you and you and someone now get it. Okay, Eight of Pentacles, why is this the focus? What are you working on here? What is this Eight of Pentacles for Gemini? Four of Cups in reverse, also the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is right here. But this is about, um, you know, you have to understand that you have to leave your past behind. So three, the Four of Cups in the upright is where you might have, Gemini, have been feeling very bored or stagnant in, the, in your situation currently. But you're working on it, on flipping this around to the Ace of Cups, which what does that mean, Jacqueline? <laughs> You're focused on releasing your past, okay? You're focused on, um, you know, letting go of any injustices is what I'm hearing and really focused on, again, um, you're not really worried about anything else except for if it starts with love, I'm in it, I'm in it. you know what I mean? And that goes across the board, love and honor in all ways. We have the death card in reverse here too. I do feel like there is something in your situation or even in a connection where it's like, Either you or them just was not gonna find was was not gonna give up. It was not I was not gonna give up. What's this eight of pentacles for Gemini? <laughs> Ten of Cups, which is where you're going. Yes, 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 yes. I love when it all works out. Five of Cups in reverse. Again, a, a new opportunity, two of cups after we release three cups, the past. Things that have already happened here. Yeah, you are finding your ten of cups here. Let's get one more on this Eight of Pentacles. Two of Swords in reverse. Where you've been um, indecisive, you are now say, see things clearly. You see things very, very, very clearly now. Okay? Beautiful. There's your Ace of Swords again. Ace of Swords again, for those of you who are like, what does that mean? It's a, it's like a wake up call. It's like a, it's that breakthrough energy of, oh my God, I finally get it. It's that light bulb moment, like ding, ah, oh, now it all makes sense. And then everything falls into place. So I feel like, I kind of feel like there's just been this like building up energy to the Ace of Swords. And then once ding, the light bulb goes off. It's like, okay, now I get it. What's the Queen of Wands in the past? Four of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Tower in Reverse, Wheel of Fortune. Um, you knew that you had to get out of your comfort zone. You had to take some kind of uncomfortable action to get out of your comfort zone. Um, for a lot of you, very personally, on a personal level, Gemini, you've had uh, like internal tower energy. You've had a lot of internal stuff going on, which is why you're very hard at work on your energy and mastering yourself. But I feel like for some of you, again, it's like you might have been in a situation where it's like, this is a little boring. I'm feeling kind of bored. It feels too comfortable here. Um, and that made you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Why is the Six of Cups crowning you? It's the sun. I saw, I knew it. I see the sun. I see the sun. I see the sun. I see the sun with the, with the Knight of Swords here. Beautiful. Why is the Six of Cups crowning Gemini? We have the Page of Wands in reverse. Um... Yeah, you're in a very, I feel like your mind is in a very clear, happy, abundant place. Also with this Knight of Swords, you are receiving for some of you um, some type of news or information, even an invitation to something like an invite. You're invited is what I'm picking up for some of you. Six of Cups could be an invite to back to your soul family is basically what I want to see is what I want to say. Page of Wands in reverse. Um, there's someone, someone here. What's this page of wands in reverse? Okay, seven of wands in reverse, two, um, seven of swords in reverse with the two of wands in reverse. Um, I do feel like there's there was some immature behavior in the past here in regards to seven of swords that maybe in the past you couldn't have, and I kind of feel like this was at a younger time, like if you've known this person or you've been in this situation for a long time where you've been around this connection for multiple years, in the past, when you and them were at a younger time in your life, there were a lot of Seven of Swords, a lot of um, 
lies or, or, or misleading kind of information. Um, a little bit of manipulative energy too, but that part is over with now, okay? Why is the sun card here for Gemini? Okay, magician in reverse. Why is the sun card here for Gemini? Nine of swords. I'm hearing it's too good to be true. Okay, and the devil, Capricorn specifically for some of you, six of cups. As for some of you, a Capricorn is your soulmate. The magician in reverse for some of you, you don't know how it's all gonna work out, but you know that it will. You're like, I don't know how, but it will, um, that you will master this. You you will find your way to um, get a hold of the situation. Um, I kind of love the devil and the sun together. That's like really, um, for some of you, balancing out your shadow side and your light side very much so. Um, for some of you, this is going to be a connection that you're obsessed with. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing, why are you so obsessed with me? Boy, I want to know. <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, with the devil here on the sun card, yeah, I do feel like you and this person constantly think of each other all the time. You're on each other's minds all the time. You've known them for quite a long time. This is a soulmate for a lot of you. Okay, why is your power the, um, the eight of cups? Why is Gemini the Eight of Cups? Queen of Cups in reverse. Ooh, Emperor. Wheel of Fortune. Man, the time is right. There's something about now. The time is right now. Um, I honestly, with this Queen of Cups in reverse, she's literally, I'm hearing tears of joy. This is for some of you, you're going towards your divine um, masculine because what did I say was hidden from you was your divine feminine, right? So I do feel like whoever, whatever role you are, you're, you're, you've come to some kind of completion, 10, there's a number 10 here in the wheel. You've come to some type of completion or ending a cycle in your life on this very personal emotional journey, Gemini. And you're going into this Ten of Cups, meeting up with this Divine Masculine for a lot of you or Divine Feminine either way. Why? Because the King of Swords is here again, because you know your truth, you see things clearly. And I'm kind of picking up this like thing too, like once you know and see this all clearly, it's like I could never go back to being confused about this anymore, right? It's like I can't unsee what I've seen, but I mean that in a good way. Wow. Why is the Empress um, hidden from you? Four of Swords. Eight of Swords. King of Pentacles, which is in your hopes and fears. Strong connection to Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn for a lot of you. This is your King of Cups. This is, again, this is someone who thinks about you a lot. Eight of Swords is this person... Um, they get in their heads very much so, like they get a little trapped in their mind, like they think about you on repeat, like broken record, okay? Um, this person prays for you or like prays to be with you. Um, this person might be waiting for you for some of you. Um, this person is very abundant, could be significantly older, King of Pentacles, whether they're Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, they could also be like a boss energy, very abundant, a CEO, a manager, um, it could also, for some of you, represent um, in like work and career, like the bank, getting a loan so that you can do, do something that you've been wanting to do. But I'm picking up really connection for a lot of y'all with the lovers and then a lot of this emperor, empress kind of energy here. Why is the king of pentacles and the hopes and fears who showed up right here? <laughs> Who's this king of pentacles? Page of swords, so the messengers, so you got... You have an incoming message um, from this King of Pentacles. <laughs> this person may not even talk a lot, but the, anything they do communicate that you absorb a lot of it. Like you're like, okay, like I love that. Why is the King of Pentacles hopes or fears here? Empress in reverse. And the High Priestess with the Eight of Wands. Yeah, for some of you, you could be at a distance and you know you're either hoping or fearing that this is the person, okay? Empress is here again, okay? And I feel like that's to be once you decide. Also, Page of Swords is you um, 
you hearing these eight of wands, these messages, seeing the signs from spirit and being like, okay, y'all showed me enough signs. I know what this connection is now. I know what this person is to me. And then you'll make a decision from that. Okay. Um, which leads in the six of wands with the ace of swords. Very good. Why does Gemini have the six of wands in the outcome? Star. Because it was meant to be. Because it was destined. Oh my God. I don't know why you get so singy with Gemini. I'm also like not even a good singer at all, but I just like to sing. Why is the six of wands in the outcome for Gemini? Your six of cups. This is your soulmate. Oh. Why is the six of wands here for Gemini? <laughs> Page of pentacles. Okay, with the knight of cups. I feel like this is your king of pentacles offering you this... Um, offering you something here and you're like yes i know it's meant to be do you want to do this yes do you want to do this yes do you want to do this yes <laughs> um big time you and someone are taking it to the next level undoubtedly why is the ace of swords in the outcome for gemini this is a brave card and they're saying should i be brave and bold and do this you do whatever you want what the energy says yes Let's get two more on that Ace of Swords. What is that for Gemini? Three of Cups. Yes. What is this Ace of Swords for Gemini? Wow. Seven of Cups in reverse. Okay. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. There's still a little bit of bickering here um, between you and this person. Okay. I feel like someone's really jealous of like everything that you're getting here. But anyways, um, Basically, your Ace of Swords is this, the Knight of Wands, Three of Cups, Seven of Cups in reverse. Where you've been confused about the situation, you're not confused anymore. Gemini, this is something to celebrate here in the Three of Cups. Like, you'll, your yes, everyone's going to be like, okay, yes, Gemini said yes, they're in, they're in. And people are going to celebrate here. Um, it will be like a bold move for you to say yes or to go with it or to move on to this thing. Like it will be something in the Knight of Wands of like, I'm a little scared. I have to maybe work up some courage here, but it feels really good here. I feel like, again, it, the, the energy feels very crystal clear on your part, okay? Like once you know what you know, you're not going to back down from it, okay? Very cool. A lot of y'all are on the move to your Ten of Pentacles. For a lot of y'all, I'm sorry, to your Ten of Cups, that Ten of Cups involves... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to kick y'all. Excuse me. Um, your Ten of Cups does involve a connection for a lot of you getting to this like happy family unit kind of connection here. You and this person, whether y'all are together now, if y'all are in communication, whatever, y'all are like obsessed with each other, okay? Y'all like to communicate, talk, that kind of thing, like a lot. I know that for sure. Something about this in the past has really kind of shaken you up. Um, it could have something to do with someone's mother or father. I don't know what that is. Some information or something going on with them has shaken something up in you to get you going. That's not going to be for everybody. Um, but it could have been like how my mom and dad were. I want to like, I don't know, be better than that is what I'm picking up on. No hate on our our parents, right? But we we always generation by generation want to like evolve and and kind of break cycles. And I do feel an energy here of like um, you kind of breaking through an old cycle um, of something that maybe your parents couldn't do, for example, for some of you. That's kind of a side message there. But Gemini, wow, big reading there, very cool. Congratulations, a lot of you are coming into union here right around the corner. Let's do your pick a card and then go do your love reading. <laughs> Okay, so the Gemini that won the pick a card this time is Brandy Stewart. Brandy Stewart, you are my winner this time. So Gemini, if you want me to pick your cards next time, just make sure you are subscribed to this channel and leave your name in the comment section down below. Be subscribed, leave your name. That's all that it takes. Some of you are subscribed, but don't leave your name. So I can't write your lovely little name on a card. So please make sure in the comment section you write your name if you want me to pick you. And um, for those of you that leave your name and leave comments but aren't subscribed, I can also tell if you're not subscribed. There's no getting around either one. Be subscribed, leave your name. Those are the people I pick. I love y'all. Y'all get the drill. Um, for the rest of you, I'll either see you 
next time or in the love reading, okay? That one's the first link in the description box below. All right, this is for Brandy Stewart. Brandy, how are you? We've got three shuffles for you. This one and two more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Brandy Stewart? Brandy's a Gemini. This is for Brandy Stewart, Gemini. <laughs> Six of Cups, okay? Um, nostalgic energy, soulmate energy, past life energy for sure. Um, Six of Cups is, again, to me, one of the sweetest, um, like, best memories or best kind of love that you can possibly get. It's, like, the most sensitive, most nurturing, the, the sweetest love. Okay, Brandy Stewart. Okay, you have a Six of Swords. Good. On the move, at least coming out of conflict. Okay, Brandy Stewart. Five of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. King of Cups, Page of Swords. Hmm. Justice at the bottom of the deck, two of swords, judgment, huge decisions, huge, huge, huge decisions. I feel like, Brandy, if you have kids, your decisions have everything to do with you, con the consideration of your children. Um, I feel like you're moving out of a really difficult time with someone and getting away from them and going off on your own. Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles are very single, solo. Five of Pentacles can be a little worried. Um... Like, I'm kind of scared to go. I'm scared to leave, but I'm gonna. I definitely, like, I feel like maybe you left a family home. Might, you might have left a partner. But I feel like um, I'm kind of kind of picking up some single mom vibes from you. Um, and that might not be fully it. Or, like, even just, like, me, you might be taking the dogs or the cats with you. That kind of thing, too. Um, but you feel like you and yours are without something. But the something that you were in, the situation or connection was very five of swords. It was very, um, lots of stabbing in the back. And you're like, I can't take that anymore. I'm going to take me and mine and we're going to move on. King of Cups, the page of swords. Then once you're on your own, once you're on your own, nine of pentacles. And, and, and if you're worried about money, five of pentacles, I wouldn't. You're coming out strong with the nine of pentacles, lots of abundance, lots of money. Um, nice clothes, nice home kind of thing. Then we have this King of Cups, Page of Swords. Then I feel like there's this like an incoming message um, from this King of Cups person, someone who's maybe interested in getting to know you a little bit better, potential relationship blossoming in the future. Um, but Justice at the bottom of the deck that's saying, saying that um, you're in alignment first and foremost. Um, Justice is card number 11. And also... That this is happening for your best and highest good, okay? You may not feel like that right now with this five of pentacles. You may feel like, um, what, Jacqueline? But yeah, no, this is all happening for your best and highest good. What's the six of swords here for Brandy? Why is the six of swords here for Brandy? Eight of wands. You've been seeing the signs. You've been weighing your options. What's the six of swords? Ones. you've been waiting to make this move yeah i feel like you've you've been like kind of getting your ducks in a row here um waiting for the right time to leave either a person or a situation why is the five of pentacles here yeah queen of cups i do feel like you're leaving a relationship why is the five of pentacles here for brandy um magician you do have everything you need to go ahead and do whatever it is you need to do Five of Pentacles, um, again, I feel, I don't want to say I was right, but I feel like you are um, taking, like you have you have the kids with you. You've got, or like the, the dependents, you have like the kids, the dog, the cat, whatever with you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's a win for you. You may not feel that, but that's a victory. It's like, I feel like your, your family, your friends, your peers, like they're very proud that you've left something. 
Um, I honestly feel now with the justice card and all of this going to the nine of pentacles, I want to almost say full on divorce now because justice represents, does love, represent, um, like the legal system, documents, uh, um, marriage certificates, um, documents, those kind of things, mortgages, loans, those kind of things, like very official things where you sign your name on a dotted line. That's very justice energy. Okay. Anyways, let's keep going. Why is this nine of pentacles here? For Brandy, yeah, you have the Ten of Swords. You're definitely surrendering and letting go of this. You're healing. Very good. Yeah, and the Three of Swords here. Um, Nine of Wands. So yeah, you're, you're, I feel like you are leaving a situation. You definitely feel brokenhearted for sure. I love Temperances here for you. Um, this is healing energy. Lots of healing and nurturing at this time for you, Brandy in this transition in your life. I'm sending you lots of love. Um, you feel, I'm hearing like, I'm down, but I'm not out. Like, I feel like you still have a really good spirit about this and I couldn't be any more proud. Like it's, when you're in the five of pentacles energy, that's when you'd really truly find out who you really are. When you have nothing or feel like you have nothing, um, that's when you are the spiritual warrior. That's when it's like, I really am got to show my true colors. I got to really be there for myself. It's like, I really feel like you're doing that right now. And it's not the easiest, but you are really, you're doing amazing. Um, also with the temperance energy, something's coming to you in time. I feel like you're waiting on this nine of pentacles. It will come through um, in the right time for you. Okay, let's look at these last two. What's this king of cups for Brandy? Yeah, seven of swords. the world card and we have the knight of swords here so this is a cycle that's closed that could reopen um if you'd like to to the ten of pentacles um the seven of swords is the cycle that you've left i do feel like it could be your person um trying to communicate with you reach back out open things back up with you but you don't trust them for a second they have the seven of swords which means they're a freaking liar the knight of wands came out which means they're pro probably a player as well okay um why is the page of swords here for brandy king of swords five of cups mm-hmm 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 and you have the nine of wands here. Um, yeah, you're, I feel like you're telling this person like, hey, um, you know, yeah, you, this was meant to be. This was meant to happen. Whatever this person said to get you moving forward, you know, I don't think it was one thing. I think you've been waiting to leave this thing, a person or situation for quite some time. Um, and when you do, of course, of course, when you do, they're going to, they're going to, you know, try to manipulate you into coming back, okay? Um, they're going to probably play off of your emotions, so be very careful with them, like, being emotionally manipulative to you. Seven of Swords on the King of Cups with the Knight of Swords. Be very, very, very careful about this person, um, like, getting to you. Don't let this person get under your skin. They're very emotionally manipulative to you. And, and, and they're saying kids. Like, they use the kids or, like, the dog or the whatever. They use that against you to try to, to, try to get your truth, uh, to try to sway your truth. But then, boom, you show right back up as the king of swords. Like, nah, nah, bra, we're done. I'm going to let the past fall away and I'm going to hold out for something better. I feel like you're, um, you're going to hold out for someone better for you. Okay. Anything we need to know about this justice card for Brandy? Yeah. It's a new beginning for you. Full card. That's it. Ten, Ten of wands, the bottom of the deck. Let go of that burden, girl. Let go of that burden. I mean, you do what you want. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but the energy is definitely, um, I feel like you've been waiting like eight of wands, Brandy, like you've been seeing, hearing the signs, and even maybe you've been in communication with uh, with the other people that are helping you through the situation. Um, I feel like you're finding the right exact day, time, evening to like, okay, I'm gone. It feels very to like 
move with caution, but you already would know why, okay? I'm sending you lots and lots of love. I know you're going through something um, really, really big right now, Brandy, so hang in there. Um, you definitely close out a cycle here that was meant for you. You're looking very abundant in this whole thing. Um, so yeah, sending you lots of love. If there's anyone else still here, I love y'all, and I'll see you next time.